2017 NCHA Summer Spectacular. I'm with the winner of the Limited Open Derby Final, Justin Chalmers, who rode HC Herd Boss and marked an excellent score of 225. Congratulations Thank to you. you. Thank you. How did you feel about, you know, this win tonight? Um, you know, like, oh, this is my first final, so just going into it, I just wanted to get through a good clean run and just prepare for the, for the semis. So, you know, it was just kind of like a, an added bonus, I guess. But Can you take us through your run? Yes, um... Like, so when we were walking in there, there was a black horn mot that we really like and an orange mot, and they were both there together. Um, the orange mot kind of kind of ducked away just a little bit, so we went with the black horn mot, and she was a good cow. She was a little soft, but it was just a good way to start the runoff and, you know, didn't stay too long, but just a good building cow. Now, you are, like, I think eight and a half points ahead of the field, ahead of second place and, and the rest of uh, the competitors. That's quite an effort. How do, how do you feel, and what do you think the difference was today? Um, I just focused on good clean cuts and just a good little accurate run and you know I just was fortunate enough to cut three really good cows that just set up in the right spot and let that horse do what he needed to do so um, I think that's what it was just lucky to cut three good cows you know my help just had had them picked out right so. Okay so it's a good setup for going into the semis? Yes yeah just a, a good little way like know that he's good enough and you know go back down and he's ready slow him down and just go have the same kind of run. Now, tell us about your horse. Um, so he's by a horse called Herd and Cats, who's actually a gelding, but uh, Eddie and Barbara Ray, oh, had that horse, and then uh, they raised this horse, and uh, there's just one year of him, and, um, yeah, he's just been a, a good little horse. Dan Edwards started him, and I got him as a three-year-old, and I've had him ever since. So. How long have you been training for these guys? Uh, almost two years now. And is that the whole time you've been over here from Australia? Uh, no, I've been over here for like 14 years. Okay, so tell us your story. Um, well, my dad had come over here when he was young and trained horses and then he moved back to train horses when he was like, when I was like 14 or something and then been over here ever since. So you lived over here as a child, yep. went back to Australia for how long? Uh, we were in Australia for 11 years, yep, and then come back over. Yeah. Okay, so... Um, you probably spent more of your life over here. What, what, what did you learn about your horsemanship in Australia? Uh, you know, it was, it was different. Like, I was young and, uh, you know, it's a bit different over there than what over here. There wasn't quite the horses that there was over here, but a lot of good just horsemanship skills, you know, just how to make a good, a good horse. So, yeah, and a lot of the guys I've worked for have been Australians, so it's just kind of went on with that. Okay. You've won almost four and a half thousand dollars. How's that feel? Oh, that just feels amazing. Like just first finals come here and do this. I mean, just couldn't ask for it to go any better. Yeah, exactly. Well, good luck with the semis too. Thank you. Yeah.